Body Speak presents Extreme Bodybuilders Ever. While being fit is a goal for many, for some it's an obsession. Check out the following people who took bodybuilding to a very disturbing level Mustafa Ismail. Massachusetts bodybuilder Mustafa Ismail eats 7 pounds of protein, 9 pounds of carbohydrates, and 3 gallons of water each day to help maintain upper arms that measure 31 inches around, as big as a small man's waist. Skeptics say there must also be steroids or some other artificial means behind Ismail's beyond bulging biceps and triceps, and Guinness World Records is waffling on whether to recognize him. But he insists they are all natural, the result of a punishing workout regimen. The rest of his male's body is average, so it's a challenge finding shirts that fit his arms without making him look like a little kid playing dress up. Not to mention the controversy that ensued when Guinness decided to recognize him as having the largest upper arm muscles on earth, and critics accused him of using steroids or other artificial methods. Strangers claimed online that he used steroids or had implants in his arms. Others speculated that he might have injected his muscles with a synthetic oil substance, synthol, used by bodybuilders to fluff muscle tissues. Greg Valentino Greg Valentino has earned worldwide fame and become an internet sensation for having the biggest biceps in the world and disproportionate body size. And it is his biggest biceps freak show act that has earned him the reputation as the most hated man in bodybuilding. Greg Valentino's arms look like somebody stuffed softballs where his triceps and biceps should be, while the rest of his body doesn't even come close to matching them. People everywhere have been amazed, not only by the size of his arms, but by how abnormal he looks overall. When you really get down to the root of it, Valentino could be a poster child for one of those freaky picture websites. Greg Valentino is known as the man whose arms exploded, for a reason, because they did in fact explode. Valentino is not well liked in bodybuilding, he has a reputation for drugs, steroids and synthetic oil injections. He made his arm literally burst after his bicep was infected by a dirty needle. Gary Hyming Gary Hyming put tremendous efforts into his bodybuilding. Often, he would go through secret but strenuous routines to make his muscles bulge. No one thought that these exercises were dangerous though. Hyming appeared to be in good health when he entered into the Australian bodybuilding competition in Victoria. However, when he went out on stage, he collapsed from heart failure after completing his demonstration. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Amazingly enough, the show continued after his body was removed from the stage. Sally McNeil Female bodybuilders aren't exempt from the insanity either. Having all that testosterone in your body can really wreak havoc on your decision making skills. Take the case of Sally McNeil, a former marine. McNeil got involved in professional bodybuilding after leaving the service, along with her husband Ray. McNeil was often seized by insane jealousy, once savagely beating another woman because she believed that Ray was having an affair with her. She also once dropped a 70 pound weight on his car. Things came to a head in April 1996, when she pulled a shotgun on Ray and unloaded it into his chest, killing him instantly. She's currently in jail and claims that the murder was in self-defense and that Ray is the one who struggled with roid rage. Marcus Ruhl A professional bodybuilder hailing from Germany, Marcus Ruhl began training in earnest at the age of 18. Training hard six days a week, the young Ruhl, who began training weighing a meager 120 pounds, began using steroids. He was competing in bodybuilding competitions by the age of 23, supplementing his steroid cycles with other types of performance enhancers like HGH and insulin. At 41, he now weighs roughly 337 pounds. Due to the vast amounts of training he has done, and the amount of steroids Rule has consumed, he now possesses some of the largest shoulders in weightlifting history. He also claims to be one of the strongest men alive. To go with his broad shoulders and strength, Marcus Rule also boasts an extremely distended turtle belly stomach 
due to the steroids he's taken, promoting growth amongst his internal organs as well. Andreas Munzer Steroids aren't the only thing that bodybuilders poison their bodies with. One of the greatest foes of a bodybuilder is water weight. To really make your muscles pop with definition, you need to have as little liquid in your system as possible. Many competitors resort to diuretics before they get on stage to push them over the edge, and these can have incredibly scary effects. One of the saddest stories is of Austrian legend Andreas Munzer, who was renowned for his extremely low body fat. In 1996, Munzer was rushed to a hospital complaining of stomach pain and died on the operating table. His autopsy revealed that he had numerous tumours on his liver, his testicles were shrunken, and his heart was twice the size of a normal man's, all a result of his chemical abuse. Arlindo de Souza This is the man with the biggest muscles in Brazil, after boasting 29-inch biceps. But Arlindo de Souza's monster guns could come at the ultimate cost after injecting himself with a lethal concoction. The 43-year-old's colossal 29-inch biceps are the result of pumping oil and alcohol into his arms. The filler is absorbed into the body to give the appearance of muscle, but it can cause horrific infections and some heavy users have had their arms amputated and some even died. Arlindo, known as the Mountain in his hometown of Olinda, injected three times a week for just two months to achieve his supersized look. The muscle man had already been taking a cocktail of steroids, hormones, and horse vitamins to bulk up when a gym buddy offered him a sight enhancement oil to help pull ahead of his rivals. Z's Aziz, or Z's, Shaversion was a black sheep, a controversial figure in the bodybuilding world. Z's attracted a cult following on the internet particularly among male, teenage Australian gym-goers, who sought to emulate not only his physique, but the success with women produced by both his body and internet fame. Z's owed his success to pumping his body full of dangerous substances, and used his steroid fueled physique to work part-time as a male stripper. His fans thought his gains were all natural, but he died of a heart attack in a sauna during a vacation in Thailand in 2011, at the young age of 22. If you liked the video, please press the like button below and subscribe to our channel to watch future videos of the most amazing, bizarre, and weird stuff from around the world.